Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of the Studio Express. Today's episode is very special. We're going to be showing you how to make your own mallet rack for under ten dollars. So I have a lot of mallets, as you know from the show and from my percussion experience in the last few years, I've accumulated so many mallets that I really wanted to display them in the studio. What a lot of people tend to do with their unused mallets is that they put them all inside a stick bag or inside a box or inside a bucket. I see you, Andrew Chan. And that's all well and good, that all works. I have four stick bags. All of those solutions are fine, but I really wanted a way of displaying the mallets in a nice aesthetic way so you could really see you know, this history of mallets behind me from all these different manufacturers around the world. I just think it's a really cool thing to have as a decoration in your room or in my case, in your studio. But I wanted it to be cost effective and I wanted it to be simple to make because I don't have time to just like spend days and days making this massive DIY project. And I'm also very bad at DIY in general. So I wanted to just do something that was really, really easy. I started off by looking at pegboards. You know, I thought maybe if I got some nails and a pegboard, I could do it sort of like, you know, when you put your power tools in the shed and they all look nice and organized, but that was really expensive and you needed to drill holes into the wall and that was just not a very good option. So then I came up with the solution that you see behind me. You'll be pleased to know that one of these columns, which can hold 16 pairs of mallets, only costs less than $10 to make. That's right, less than $10. And it takes less than 10 minutes to make. It's really, really easy. So I was looking for something that had lots of pockets, that was vertical, kind of like a stick bag on steroids, like a really massive stick bag. And obviously buying lots of stick bags and sticking them to the wall was not a very economical exercise. So I went to my local Ikea. I know a lot of you guys have an Ikea near you. And I bought a hanging shoe organizer, which is called Scub. You can get these in black or white. They have 16 pockets which are actually the perfect size for mallets because shoes are almost the same size as mallets when you're thinking about length. They have 16 of these pockets. The material is really nice. It's like nylon, super durable, which is perfect for our mallet rack. It has this little hook, obviously, for your wardrobe, but we don't need that, so you can just fold it down. Easy. Now, I thought that would be enough. I thought all I needed was to get that $5.99 shoe organizer hanging up and all would be good. But shoes are a lot bigger than mallets. So when I just put my mallets inside the shoe organizer and I tried to make them stand straight, well, obviously they folded over because mallets are top heavy and some of them even fell out of the pocket. So it was not complete. We needed to make some modifications to this shoe organizer to make it fit our purpose. So to make this work, you're gonna need some paper fasteners. These are the sort of things you used when you were in primary school. They're those little pins with like foldy metal bits that you can stick through a piece of paper and fold out at the end which works really well for this because it replaces the need for nails or screws or anything like that. It's much cheaper than stapling as well. You can get a box of these for literally $3. So you're gonna need your fasteners, your shoe organizer, and a knife. So first thing you do is you open your shoe organizer. You lay it out on the floor. And then you're gonna get your knife Call that a knife? This is a knife. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. And stab holes right at the joins of each pocket. Stab them directly on the folds as high as you can. You're stabbing these holes because you want to put these paper fasteners directly through those holes, butterfly them out, and then that way those pockets will stay nice and tight. So once you're done stabbing your holes, you get your paper fasteners, ba-boom! And then you stick your fasteners directly through the holes that you just made, and then you just fold them out at the back. Really, really easy. Repeat this process for the entire 16 pockets. It's really straightforward, don't cut yourself, don't stab anyone, <laughs> just do it slowly and it'll be done in like 10 minutes. And once that's done, you've got yourself a mallet rack that you built for under $10 and all you have to do is hang it up. Now, I hung it up on a pinup board using some pins it's because I have two pinup boards in my studio, but you might want to use 3M command hooks maybe or you might want to put them directly onto the wall using some mounting tape. The solutions are endless. Find the solution that works best for you. And once you hang it up, all you have to do is put your mallets in. One, two, three, fuck it. And 
that's it. That's how you build a wall-mounted mallet rack for less than $10. If you have more than 16 pairs of mallets, obviously you can do it more times like I have. So I've got three behind me. I plan to put a fourth one somewhere and you can just have as many as you want. Even if I have three of these organizers behind me, that still only costs me about $20, which is nothing compared to something like a mallet bag or building... I don't know, one of those really expensive mallet racks on the wall. Who needs a purpose-built mallet rack when you can have shoe organizers? So yeah, I hope that will help you organize your mallets for the new year, 2017. I like the feeling of walking up to this rack whenever I need mallets for a gig. It's kind of like having an armory of mallets, you know, in the movies when people pick up their guns and stuff. Guns. Lots of guns. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see anything else on the channel in the comments below. Let me know if you like this sort of tutorial format because normally I do mallet reviews and all that sort of stuff. I'm trying to branch out a little bit for next year. If you decide to build this, please send me a photo. I'd love to see everyone's mallet collections because this is a really good way of displaying it. And I chose the black for the shoe organizers because then you can really see the mallets. The white one kind of makes it a bit... What, 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 where? What, 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 where? Make sure you click that red subscribe button if you haven't already to keep up with my uploads. I upload every week for you guys and thank you so much for all the support we're almost at 600 subscribers which is crazy i hope you had a fantastic christmas and i will see you next year 2017 is going to be a great year for the studio have a great new year celebration and i will see you next week for another episode of the studio good night and to be loved